buenos dias and welcome. This is section 1C of PASOS, your course to get you speaking un buen nivel, that means a good level, un buen nivel de español. It takes time, toma tiempo, and what we do is just go paso a paso, that's step by step. Bien. Section 1C is called Países, which are countries. Now, if you think Paisano, you might have heard that word, is someone from the country. And Patriotic is someone who loves their country. So Pais is a country. OK, you can help. That can help you remember. Y nacionalidades, well, nationalities, es fácil. La primera actividad es actividad número 15, number 15, on page 9, página 9. And it's a really simple exercise. You only have to put your CD in and listen and read uh, what the ladies are saying. One's from España, one's from Colombia. Pause this video and do that now. Bien. So you can see what they're saying. They're using the word soy, which means I am. Soy colombiana. Soy española. And then they're using the word de. Well, de has a lot of meanings, de. But in this context, en este contexto, de means from. Hola, me llamo Ruth. I'm called Ruth. Soy a Britannica. Soy inglesa. De Northumberland. From Northumberland. So you could use that pattern and say the same about you. Pause the video and do that now. Bien. Continuing with Actividad Quince, on page 9 there's una lista of countries, países, and nacionalidades, and how to say it if you're it for, to describe <laughs> a man, and how to say it to describe a woman. So, una persona de Inglaterra, England, es inglés. English, if you're a man, is es inglés or inglesa. English, or if you're a woman, inglesa. So what I'd like you to do con esta lista, with that list, is use your mobile phone to record yourself, make a short video. You can delete it straight afterwards. It might make you cringe, but if you have a mobile phone, it's such a useful tool. Make a little selfie video and read the list like this. You say, una persona de España and leave that gap and then, es español o española. So you're just reading the list. When you've made that recording, um, then you can go back to it and it'll say, una persona de España and you can try and get in before yourself. <laughs> so, una persona de España es español o española. You have to try and talk quickly. Es difícil. So, leave a big pause. In that list, I think perhaps the only one that's difficult to pronounce is Ireland. It's Irlanda. And the only one that's difficult to understand is um, Alemania. You can find these words in your vocabulary list. And of course, on the end, you have Japan, which is Japon, because the J always makes a H sound. Pause this video and record yourself reading that list now. Bien. Now, whether you choose to use your recording to test yourself straight away or do it later, 
that's your choice. Tu decision. Let's move on to actividad 16, and that's 16. En actividad 16, I would like you to read las instrucciones en español y en inglés and try to match up what means what. So, cada persona, that means each person or every person. So, as you're reading las instrucciones, you are gradualmente absorbing un poco más de español. La actividad 16 es difícil. It's difficult. They ask you to listen to the CD and pick out the nationalities in order. So the first person in the in the audio recording that's mentioned is Inglesa. So that's number one. You've got a little list of of nacional, nacionalidades at the bottom right of Pagina Nueve. So you're going to put those in the order you hear them. The reason that es difícil is that there's a lot of Espanol, mucho Espanol in that recording that you might not understand yet. And this is really good training to try to listen through the stuff that you don't understand for the words that you do understand. This is the first step. It's the most difficult step. El paso más difícil. Don't be disheartened. Just listen for the nationalities. Pause and do that actividad now. Bien. I hope that you could hear las nacionalidades. There were also names in there, nombres, and because they were from different nacionalidades, they might have been un poco difícil. Actividad 17, activity 17, um, talks about someone who is Norte Americano. Now, on your list, of países y nacionalidades, there were a couple of glaring um, omissions. American, bueno, norte americano. I love the word, it sounds like a naughty American. <laughs> but America es un continente. The United States is Estados Unidos, States United, Estados Unidos. Una persona de los Estados Unidos es estadounidense. Ok, a lot of syllables. Estadounidense. Try to say it. Estadounidense. And that differentiates the Norte Americanos who live in Canada and los Estados Unidos y Mexico. So, los de Canadá, una persona de Canadá, es canadiense. Ok? Now, actividad 17. It asks you uh, to practice. So, they, they give you un ejemplo. The ejemplo is de donde eres. And that means from, de, where, donde, eres, are you. From, where, are you. De, donde, eres. Y la idea is to go through la lista de los países and say, um, soy inglesa. If you're a woman going through the female list. Soy inglesa de Birmingham, por ejemplo, y tú. And then go on to the next one. Soy galesa, and that's Welsh. Soy galesa de Swansea. And just go through esa lista and try to think of a city, which is una ciudad, to match every nationality. 
pause the video and do that actividad 17 now. Bien. Those kind of ejercicios, those kind of exercises, uh, are called drills, where you take the same uh, sentences or the same little chunk of dialogo and you substitute in información diferente. And they are very useful. Drills are very useful. Don't miss any paso because it all helps you to absorb español. So you will be able to hablar, to speak, español más rápido. Follow the program. Now we are on to actividad 18, activity 18 on página 10. La idea here is we have un folleto. <laughs> Sounds a bit rude. I don't know why. Un folleto is a brochure. Okay? It's something that's folded. Un folleto. De viajes. And there we have that aje sound, a voyage. So it's a travel brochure. Un folleto de viajes. And all we're doing is looking at los países or las regiones del mundo, the regions of the world, like Escandinavia. <laughs> Bien. And you, you have una lista de ciudades, a list of cities, one to ten. And all you have to do is find which country goes with which ciudad. Que país para que ciudad. Okay, so es un poco de geografía, a bit of geography. Pause the video and match el país y la ciudad. Do that now. Bien. The final activity, actividad on, in this uh, sección de países y nacionalidades is a reading exercise on página 11 and it's about la ONE, the La Orquestra Nacional de España. La idea es read el texto Mujeres de la Orquestra Nacional. Now Mujeres Horrible word, sounds like moo and hair, <laughs> and it means woman <laughs> or wife. So, mujeres de la orquestra, or women in this particular orquesta, Orquesta Nacional de España. You have, oh, uh, cuatro preguntas. The first one, uh, de donde es, where is somebody from, and the next ones are quien es, de, so that's who is from, and the final one, que violinista, which violin player is from whichever country. So this is reading comprehension. You might not entender, which means to understand, Es posible que th that you can't entender todo, no importa, if you can entender suficiente para responder a las preguntas, to respond to the questions. So, who's from there, which violinist is from there, uh, or who is from. Okay, pause the video and answer those preguntas ahora. Bien. Again, 
it's important to focus on what you understand because the way linguaje works, the way babies and toddlers learn and the way we learn best as adultos is to, to focus on what you understand and then more linguaje kind of accretes to what you understand. Whereas if you focus on what you don't understand, then nothing sticks to it. <laughs> That's just the way it works. And I want you to learn Espanol so that you feel confident to speak and that you feel confident to read and hear and understand. Entender. So it's importante that you focus on what you do understand. That said, it's also importante to estudiar el vocabulario. And you had a big list of nationalities on this in this section. So what I would like you to do is to download an app. It's free. It's called Quizlet. And in that app, you can type in all the Spanish nationalities and they'll come up in English and then you can test yourself. You can play with them. So you have homework and I'd like you to add Four more words to that as well. Question words. Donde means where. Quien means who. Uh, que means what. And cual really means which. <laughs> A wiggly finger. And then I would like you to copy the list of what you've learned that's in English from the Spanglish Fantastico Pasos page and use it to test yourself tonight, tomorrow, mañana, so you can come back and do sección un de, uno de, knowing that you know un poco de español. And I'll see you there. Hasta pronto. Adios.